What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we have my first Lego Christmas video. Well, not my first Lego um, Christmas video. That was my all my advent calendars. But this is my first Lego set review from the Lego Vultures Trucker Robbery. This set number is 76147. Brigham and Ages are 4 plus and the piece count is 93 pieces. Now, this is the first Lego set that I will be reviewing um, in this video, I already have one other set done, which is the Lego Wrath of Loki set. So that will probably be either today or tomorrow video. But we have a good selection of minifigures, a random motorcycle for some reason, and some really good figures. Now I know Ash and Flash, many superheroes today have all done videos on this, but this is my own video that I'll be doing. And my first becoming of the Sinister Six. So without further ado, let's get into those minifigures. So the first figure we have is Spider-Man. Now this is a Spider-Man set, so you will have to do a Spider-Man um, minifigure in it. So the design for him is really cool. I like it a lot. The back has some really cool Spider-Man torso prints, but I have not gotten this Spider-Man. I'm going to have two of these because I have the Venomosaurus sets, and this is the final version of this Spider-Man, so it's really cool. You get an awesome web piece, which are like, come on, Lego, they're web pieces. Oop. There goes the um, stand, but yeah, you come with a regular web piece, which is cool. Let's remove that out of his hands so we can take a look at that awesome detail. I've not talked about this figure. This figure is really cool. I don't like the torso print. It's very strange, but it's another figure to add to your Spider-Man layer if you get it in March. So yeah, this is a really cool figure. No dual molded legs, but it's fine. Now let's go on to the next figure, which is Vulture. Now the next minifigure is Vulture now. He has the best torso print um, out of the whole set, in my opinion. He did come in that very expensive set from 2018, I think, but it's really good to get him with these lime green wings. Also, I really like how he comes with a bomb. It's pretty fitting for a Junior's set, but he comes with that same face with all of Vultures, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. He has some little um, um, dots on the back. And if you want to see the back torso prints, well, here it is. Now, these are the wings that he actually had in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes with the classic one, with the green and the white, which is really cool. But, yeah, there's the back torso print. Very nice silver lining. But you guys probably all seen this figure, um, but he is really cool. Now, let's go on to the next figure, which is the driver. So here is the jewel, um, the the driver of the vehicle. She comes with this really cool thing, which is very loose for some reason. I don't know why. She comes with this head, which is from um, Teen Thomas or something from um, Fantastic Beats. Nice black legs and this nice security body, which will be useful for like figures. But this is a very cool figure. But now let's move on to the motorcycle. So here's the vehicle and Spider-Man comes included. So you could take your Spider-Man minifigure and put him right on top of this motorcycle attach the two arms to the handlebars which um let's do that right now um but yeah let's attach them to the thing so yeah there we go and now let's put the next arm on there but yeah it's really cool you can take his motorcycle you can do this with it you can glide it all over the place you can do some cool tricks and flips and stuff but yeah it's just a regular motorcycle just some red pieces at the bottom it's not the best part about this set but now let's go on to probably the best part about this set which is the um the um jewel car so now let's get onto that vehicle so here's the car this car um this truck or something is really cool it has some play features and stuff i like this printed tile but it is not exclusive to this set it did appear in doc ox diamond heist in i think 2018 lego sets it comes with this um this comes with these things which are connected by a technic pin which is cool it's some wheels so you can roll it around because it is a kid set um, at the front you can actually remove this as the engine piece which is really cool but you can remove that you can remove that if you want and just put this over it and you're fine it's but it adds more detail if it is down there so yeah there's that nice green hood piece i think it's new to this set correct me in the wrong correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below very nice piece down here and yeah it's it's a really cool set i like it a lot the back of the set comes with jewels which the main thing is vulture's gonna throw his bomb and 
let's get out a little bit. Vulture, um, throws bomb, oof, and throw up there. The whole thing basically blows up. So, it's basically the, uh, thing. I'm saying that word a lot. Um, I don't like this gray piece on the back because it's very, very odd, but you can fit a driver in there. As you can see, you can fit the driver in there, which we will do right now. And you can take the, her and you can put her in the vehicle. And you can be off to take these diamonds wherever they're supposed to be taken. And then you can put these back on, this back on. And you can close her in there unless you want to get through the top. I don't know why you would do that. One of these things come with arrows, which is cool. But one of these comes with um, diamonds and stuff. Hold on. Because it's called a diamond thing. Um, which you always have to have some diamonds in a set. Which comes with two uh, blues, I think. Purple. Um, two purples and two reds. Which um, is super cool. Dropped one. Dropped both of them. Oh, dropped all of them, basically. So yeah, you put that through that. Which, there is a diamond under the camera, which is going to be fun. Great, now it's lodged under there. Um, hold on. Yeah, here is the thing, and you can put that in there. That's the first one. Then you also come, and you just throw that in there. And then you also have the second one, which you can take out. It has some gold bars, which is super cool. And you can take Vulture, and he can glide off after he gets his money. Which, why is Black Cotton on this set? Um, I don't know. But yeah, you can glide off and take the money with you. That's basically the play features of this set. There's not that much play features. It's just a regular 4 Plus set. Which 4 Plus means very easy. That's why I got the two 4 Plus sets out of the way. The Avengers Wrath of Loki sets and this set. I have not built the um, STCC exclusive um, um, Black Widow set. So... I just finished the Wrath of Loki set, which is a 4+, plus, and then this set, which is a 4+, plus, basically for the main figures and the builds, because some of the builds are cool. And, yeah. So, that is it for this video. This video um, is cool. <laughs> this set is cool. I think it's worth buying. Um, if you want a really cool vehicle for a mock or something, you could use this vehicle. The figure is cool, too. Spider-Man's been in all the Spider-Man sets, so you could get any other set. The reason why I bought this set, um, got this set, wanted it for Christmas, is because it comes with Vulture, and I really like Vulture, and it comes with a really cool thing. Um, truck, which has the jewel on the side, which is a cool printed piece. The only printed piece in the set, only two times on each side, but it's the same print. So, yeah, that is it for this video. Either later today, probably later today, I will be reviewing the Lego Wrath of Loki set review. And now let's go on to the box instruction manual, and then we're going to give the final um, thoughts of this video. So, let's go on to the box. The box for this set is a um, regular 4 plus uh, box size. I don't really know box sizes, just you good knows a lot about that. Um, sorry for the background noise. Um... Um, then you have some Spider-Man logo on the side, the Spider-Man minifigure on the side. You got learn, um, learn to build, and it shows all the build on the top. And on the very top, it has the Spider-Man figure to show how big the actual minifigure is. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a box. Yeah, you get it in a fig um, set because it's a box. Now let's go on to the instruction manual. The instruction manual for this set is super cool. It's very folded, which is very annoying for Lego. Please stop folding your instruction manuals. Um, it's really cool. When on the back, um, you can fill out a thing, and you can give feedback and stuff, and you might be able to win a Lego set, which is cool. Did a video on that. Um, go check out how to win free Legos. Um, a lot of people have done that. Um, bag 1, you get Spider-Man and the figure, and then Vulture in bag 2, which I basically dumped out 1 and 2 in the same bin, because it's a junior set, it's not like building the Death Star. There's the figures, the build ends around, around, here, around 42 pages, and here's the whole sets. And then on the other side, it shows the, um, the app for um, Lego Life and um, all the other Spider-Man sets. No, I don't have all these sets. No, I'm not planning on getting them. Um, then it shows the Avengers sets, which is basically just the Avengers sets. Um, this set's cool. Wish, wish I had. Falling a manual. 
Um, I wish I had this set. This set's really cool. This set is super cool, but it's not useful. These two mechs are cool, but the Captain America mech for next year is cooler. But yeah, that's kind of it. Now let's give my final thoughts of the whole set. So overall, this is a really cool set. You get Spider-Man Vulture in it. Um, do you think you should get it? Um, if you have the Spider-Man um, Spider-Crawler sets, you should get it. But if you want Vulture cheaply and don't have to spend a lot of money, I suggest you get this set. But if you want Spider-Man 2099, Sandman, um, even you get Sandman next year. But people in 2018, I don't think knew that. But yeah, you, you come with a really cool set. It's a very um, junior set. So you can't really ask a lot of this set. So I think it, I give it a um, B+. Plus. It's a cool set. There's some flaws about this set, like dual molded legs, maybe a sticker or print on the side, like in the spider layer. But it's an okay build. I like the build for the truck. It's very cool, useful for Mox. And this whole top part decided to fall off, but who cares? Let's just um, put that down like that. So overall, I think it's a really cool set. And I will see you guys maybe later today to film the LEGO Wrath of Loki uh, Avengers vs. Wrath of Loki, whatever set. And I will film that probably right now and maybe I'll publish it tomorrow. Probably today because I don't want to build all the sets that I got for Christmas because, let me tell you, they're long. So I'm not going to build um, these probably the two sets I'm going to do today and probably the SCCC set and the other set tomorrow. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.